practice prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video we're talking about the day 25, 26, and 27 episodes of Praxis Prepper Alien Invasion. We're going to talk about some of the discussion points and the topics that are brought up in the episode, and at the very end I'm going to share with you a sneak peek of what's happening next time on the series. But before any of that, if you haven't seen this episode, the 25, 26, 27 episode, here's a link. You can click on it, find out what we're talking about before we talk about it. I'll wait a moment. Okay, and we'll jump right in, but first I want to make sure I thank the people that made today's and all these episodes, and really, honestly, my entire channel possible, and that is people just like you who have gone to patreon.com slash praxisprepper, and for as little as a dollar a month, are just helping me to put in the time to do this kind of stuff for you guys. I really could not do it without you. Thank you all very much, and a thank you, I'm sure, from all the people that maybe don't have the financial resources to support this channel, but really appreciate that you guys are doing it. And the new people that jumped on board just in the past couple weeks are James... Nancy, Rogue Preparedness, Tyler Tompkins, Benjamin, and Steve. Thank you all so much for doing this. I really could not do this without you. In addition to helping uh, keep this channel going and everything like that, uh, those guys and, uh, and gals and, and so many others also give themselves by contributing, even at the, the $1 a month level, give themselves guaranteed access to every single Alien Invasion episode. Normally they are all going out, but if I ever drop below full funding, they would still get all the episodes and just one would go out per month to the general YouTube audience. Uh, additionally, they also get advanced uh, uh, release of any of the behind the scenes stuff and opportunities to interact with the channel, steer the channel. In fact, there is a huge thing going on right now. Well, if you are a Patreon supporter, go to patreon.com slash praxisprepper. There are posts there for you. There's a big thing coming up in 2019. You have an opportunity to steer this and influence it and, you know, come up with some really big de uh, big decisions about what this new thing is going to be. Very exciting, I think. Uh, so go over there and check it out if you're a Patreon supporter because it's really cool. And right now, we're getting at the ground floor and help shape what this thing's going to be. You can make a big impact, have your hands and fingerprints all over this thing when it comes out in 2019. Anyway, the other person I want to make sure I thank is, a, you know, a huge thanks is Tyler from Let's Talk About Prepping. And he's here with me right now. Uh, we just decided to come to a rest stop and, you know, it's just, just two dudes hanging out at a rest stop. I, there's nothing weird about that. I mean, I, this rest stop has some kind of a reputation. I don't know what that's about, but, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's just Two dudes doing what two doing what dudes do when they're parked in a car together at a rest stop. So anyway, thanks Tyler very much for this episode and for being with me. Hello Praxis, and hello fellow Praxis Prepper audience members. I'm Tyler, host of the YouTube channel Let's Talk About Prepping, or as most of you will know me, Tyler from the Praxis Prepper Alien Invasion episode. I just wanted to thank Praxis for the opportunity to cameo in his most recent episode. It was really fun to shoot the footage, and I'm sure that it will have been fun to see myself in. Okay, wait, are, are you saying that it was fun for us to watch you or fun for you to watch you? Anyway, thank you very much for doing the episode with me. And thank you very much for also being a Patreon supporter. Tyler is a Patreon supporter that helped me. You might it. wonder, why would a prepper channel want to support another prepper channel financially? Am I just a computer-generated character created by Praxis to gather supporters for him? I, I, I sort of like to think that people just contribute because they appreciate what I'm doing. Do we really need to question their motives? I'm my own person, and one of my goals is to expand the awareness of emergency preparedness, which I think Praxis and this series do very well. That's worth more than a few dollars, and if it's worth that to you, I'm sure he's got a link in the description below. Okay, well, thank you for that again, and uh, let's get to today's topic. Uh, obviously, there's two kind of parts to this. There's uh, the Tyler from Let's Talk About Prepping part. By the way, there's a link to his uh, uh, channel down below if you guys want to check that out. I highly recommend it. I don't have people on this channel that, don't, that I don't think are pretty awesome, and I think his channel, it's new, but I think Tyler's a pretty awesome guy, and you should check out his stuff as well. There's kind of two parts. There's his part, and there's my part. And in his part, he's kind of talking about the way that... I also want that... to address a couple concerns that might arise from my footage. I definitely did harm a VCR in the making of this film, but we also see my friend and I slaughter some grouse. And I just want you to know that we did not slaughter those grouse just for the sake of this or any video. We were documenting a simple slaughtering of grouse, which were meant to be fed for her dogs for part of their raw food diet. She raises those dogs and her friends raise the grouse in very happy, healthy, free range environments. I just wanted to express any worries that any cruelty was involved in any of the process except for that VCR. It was definitely done with malice. Uh, the government or a government has kind of like come in and has been trying to 
get things kind of back up and running. And I know a lot of people are a little nervous about what that would be like in a crisis event. You know, uh, does it kind of slip into some kind of like totalitarian despotism? I mean, is it martial law forever? Like, what's the deal with that? Uh, And for my character's part, I'm off alone without any societal supports at all, and I'm injured. And it stinks because I can't do much for myself, and it's uh, it's just very difficult. So in this episode, I, I was trying to kind of uh, compare those two things. Uh, and I mean, it might se- seem like just on the way that I describe it there, it's like, well, we should all like, you know, run to, you know, some FEMA camp because like, otherwise you may twist your ankle and you, you can't fend for yourself. And it's obviously better where in a place where you have plenty of quail <laughs> and whatnot. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't, it's not necessarily that clear cut for me. I, I think that being alone is dangerous. I think being in a group is better. Um, but I would have concerns over what the nature of a a government that would try to re-step in into a vacuum. You know, are they working for you? Are they of the people, by the people, for the people? Or are they for themselves? You know, like, what's the nature of that? How would you, how would you analyze in a situation that, where this came up and a government kind of came in and, and tried to start t- taking controls again, how would you figure out whether or not they were going to be a force for good or a force for themselves and their own interests and their own benefits? Um, like how would you, what sort of, what, what things would you be looking for? How would you sort of define, um, a positive, uh, organization? How would you define a negative organization? I think uh, all too often with a lot of people, especially in the prepping community, there's almost a knee jerk reaction against any authority. You know, anyone, you know, the, the shit hits a fan, you know, it's without rule of law. You know, someone comes up to your house with like a badge and you're like, you know, it's Nagin. <laughs> you know, you know and you're looking for the baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire next. And, you know, obviously through history, there are people like that, lots of them, but that's not the, always the case. And I think that think about it ahead of time, like how would you, how would you figure out whether this new organization that you're looking at is positive or negative for the people that it wants to control and possibly help or maybe not help at all. I'd love to hear your thoughts below about like ways that you would evaluate that ways that you would kind of, uh, do, you know, have a litmus test or something that would, would help you to try to figure that out. And that's that again. Thank you very much, Tyler, for hanging out at this creepy rest stop with me. That was awesome of you. And thank you very much to you guys for watching this and for all the, you know, Patreon support and everything like that. I do want to mention that there is something huge going on on Patreon. If you didn't hear me say it earlier, I'm going to say it again. Something huge, huge, huge. You guys should check it out. Big event for next year and you have a chance to steer it right now if you're one of the Patreon supporters. And if you're not, I guess, you know, jump on, throw in a dollar and you can, you know, you can participate in it too. I'm not pitching for you guys to do that, but if you have the means, that would be awesome. But mostly, almost none of the Patreon supporters ever look at the post. It's like six, seven, eight, nine, ten of you and everyone else, you know, they want to help. Thank you very much, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this new development as well. Anyway, Next time on the series, uh, you know, new stuff happening. We're kind of getting towards the end of season one. Uh, Season one is going to be the first month, day one or day zero, I guess, through day 30. Uh, So we're coming up to the end of season one here. And uh, here is what's happening next time on the series. Thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah. What I'm doing now is just moving up into the hills. And the forest is already kind of turning into the kind of forest where I'm expecting to kind of come across some streams and things like that around here. So, uh, yeah, it just seems like this is going to be a good spot. And what I'm looking for is just a really good place to kind of set up some sort of a, some sort of a shelter. You know, I, I, I'm not so, so far away from that. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.